soon discover that in the future, justice was not only blind, but had become rather retarded as well. You shut up! Now! <clears throat> I'm fixing to commensurate this trial here. We gonna see if we can come up with a verdict up in here. Now, since y'all say you ain't got no money, we have proprietarily obtained for you one of them court-appointed lawyers. So put your hands together and give it up for <laughs> Rico Pendejo. You're my lawyer? Says here you uh, robbed a hospital. Why'd you do that? Yeah, I'm not guilty. That's not what the other lawyer said. I mean, well, th listen, you got to get me on the stand, OK? I can explain everything. We can take him to your house. We'll show him the get pod up. that I came here. Get up! Get up! Now, prosecute him. Why you think you done it? OK, number one, your honor. Just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he talks like a fine, too. Uh, and B, we've got all this, like, <sighs> evidence of how, like, this guy didn't even pay at the hospital. And I heard that he doesn't even have his tattoo. I know. And I'm off. You got to be shitting me. But check this out, man. Judge should be like, guilty. Peace. Jackson! What are you objectifying on? Come on, just get me on the stand. Now. OK. Um, Your Honor? I object that this guy also broke my apartment to shit. Yeah. What? And you know what else? I object that he's not going to have any money to pay me after he pays back all the money he stole from the hospital. Don't say I stole. You're my lawyer. And I object. I object that he interrupted me while I was watching Oh My Balls. That is not I'm sure we have a mistrial here, sir. I'm gonna mistrial my foot up your ass. You don't shut up. No, please listen. Please listen. <laughs> I didn't steal anything. I was part of an army experiment. Joe stated his case logically and passionately, but his perceived effeminate voice only drew big gales of stupid laughter. Get it! Without adequate legal representation, Joe was given a stiff sentence.